Alrighty, so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, upgrade your storage uh, for a PC. It'll be the same with a standard SSD. I can show you exactly which one I mean in a little bit. But this is a 2TB, 7200 RPM uh, hard drive. I'm going to be upgrading my computer because my 1TB hard drive is getting pretty full. I have a 250GB M2 SSD of 200 and 40 gigabyte SSD, a one terabyte hard drive, and now I'll be throwing in a two terabyte hard drive as well, just to uh, save some more games because I'm tired of having to download them. So all you need is your hard drive or SSD, depends on what you want. I personally like using hybrids. I use the M2 SSD for my Windows, my SSD for my favorite games, and then my hard drive for, you know, the larger games I don't play too, too often. So you'll need the hard drive, and you'll need a SATA cable. I personally like the one with a bend on it, on this end, whoops, sorry. Hit the camera mount, and we'll bounce around. Uh, I like this end just because it's easier to plug in, because sometimes that's going on the side, and it gets kind of irritating. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to take a PC apart. Now, every PC might be different, but this one, for instance, has uh, four screws on it, so top corners. And sometimes you will not have to remove the front and the back to get to it, depending on what sort of shroud you have or the direction that your hard drive is facing. We'll determine if you have to take off the back as well as the front. I can't think of a scenario where you won't have to take off the front and only the back because you have to plug this into the motherboard. So after you get your four screws out and they're safely somewhere where they're not going to go missing, just slowly lift off the glass, if yours is glass, and don't do what I just did because these things can break. I'm actually going to lean mine against the table and the couch. Because I really don't want this to break. Alright, that shouldn't move. So now we're into the front of the hard drive and my heart or sorry, the computer, my hard drive is hidden under this. Now You'll have to locate where your SATA cables are going. So I can see, for instance, I have a free spot right there. Actually, let me turn on the light. Show you guys exactly where it's going. So you see the green cord? You can see right next to it. There's a free spot. So make sure to locate that before you go any further. Just in case, for whatever reason, every one of your slots is filled. Already, you're going to have a hard time. Alright, so now time for the messiest part of my PC, because the, I would guess the cable management on this side would probably be like a 7 out of 10, it's not too too bad, it could be better, there's a couple flaws with this PC using a older motherboard, it doesn't have all the fancy RGB hookups, so I have to use a bunch of adapters, and you guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. And this thing <laughs> is so heavy, <laughs> like... I will have to weigh it at some point. Usually you don't need tools, but I may have to go grab a screwdriver. Because this thing is on tight from last time. Alrighty, so now that I have my backplate off, which is over there, uh, this is my least favorite PC to open up because of this. This absolute rat's nest of cables. Here, just take that in. <laughs> Try to pull the camera back so you guys can see a little bit more. But yeah, that's what happens when you have multiple different kinds of RGBs and uh, multiple different uh, storage devices. <sighs> Pretty much a pay me now or pay me later sort of situation going on here. So I'm going to have to stick the hard drive somewhere safely. Um, I think I have an extra tray just let me go get it Alrighty, so got my extra corsair tray here um if you are using an ssd usually there's these sort of slots that you can uh stick them into uh exactly like how the one over there is set up and like i was saying it's the exact same setup other than a hard drive this guy you have that small ssd and it plugs in the exact same way same sort of sata cable same sort of power cable so there's absolutely no difference. Even when setting it up, the SATA is just more money and has uh, much quicker load times 
for different things. Uh, so yeah. So take this like that. You got these little divots. Slap them in. Slap them in. Just like that, it's in. Now I got to make some room. Make sure this is as clean as possible because it will help closing the PC afterwards easier. So I'm going to be using this power, which you can see it's an L-shaped. It's like a bigger version of this, that little L-shape. I don't know if you guys can see that too good with the light. There we go. That old L shape. So, just look at it. This needs to be flipped this way and plugged in. So you plug it into the longer L shape on the hard drive or SSD. Actually, it's probably better because there's so many hooked up to plug this, throw this into the bottom first. And it will should slide in hunky-dory and then click and you can hear that click now we know we're good now I have quite a few of these so I want to try to keep this as neat as possible and tight as possible so I want to try to use the first three the only problem is flipping that one it's going to be a bit of a pain so I'm just gonna unplug that old one and switch them around because that way I can manipulate where I want it to go so, I'll shape down, so plug in the old one, make sure it's tight, do a push-pull test, and then give it another hard little push in there. There isn't any click or anything for this, it's just more of a feeling. So it should be able to like move the whole thing if it's in there properly. So now that's good. I'm going to plug back in my RGB hookup. Which really, you shouldn't have to do this part. Unless you have a completely caked full, old school motherboard computer like mine. So that's on that side. So it goes in that way. Now hide this the best I can. This PC is definitely uh, not very clean. The front of it is not too bad. The back of it is holy miss moly, really bad. Alright, I'll worry about that later. So next we're going to take your little SATA cable. Untie the old son of a gun. And because of the angle that this is on, trying to think of the way that this is going to line up. So I'm going to actually use this curved end on the front because there's plenty of room with this case, at least in the back. I don't have to use that. So I'm going to use the straight edge and you got that little L shape on the hard drive and you plug it right next to it. And this one actually has a click and a little button. So you know if you did it right. And push-pull test. Now, we don't want too much of this cord hanging out. So I'm actually going to sneak it up through here. Keep it nice and tight. And you can buy these SATA cables in all sorts of colors. It doesn't matter. Or you get threaded like this, this green one. I could not get a match to it. So I couldn't do anything. So after that's all hooked up, you're going to spin her around. Man, I can't even, like, lift this thing with my forearms. <laughs> and figure out where the heck I put that blue cable. There it is, falling down. I'm actually going to feed this around a little higher. Keep it clean. I don't know if I want to go behind the motherboard again like last time. I think I would rather do this. And then again, to make sure the L shape is going to line up properly. And it lines up just like that. And click. 
Okay, so I recommend not putting on the back of the case yet until you know that the PC is properly working, and I will show you the steps of how to get it all formatted and set up so you can start saving games on it. Alrighty, so now if I do the normal this PC, and it shows all your uh, different drives you have, you'll see that I have my new volume, which is an SSD, 111 gigabytes, which is another SSD, uh, 120 gigabytes, my one terabyte hard drive, and my 200, or sorry, my 120 M2 SSD. Sorry, I thought it was bigger. But you can see how there's no two terabyte here whatsoever. So, what you're going to do is search format. Oh, hold on, I just want to turn on my secondary monitor. So, format. Create format hard disk. <laughs> and we can see that disk 5 comes up, but I want to do this manually. So you can see that this one is not set up yet. So we're going to fix that. Uh, very interesting. There's a freaking cat hair on my hand. Alright, uh, master boot record, no, I want to use this. Okay. Now we can do the new sample. And then you're just going to go through this checklist and make sure that's the same number as that or you won't be able to save it all. And then assign letter, I'm going to go with Z. New volume, next, next, and there we go. Now you can see on this page, I now have my two terabyte 1.81. It's never as big as they say. Like I'm pretty sure like, I gotta get rid of some stuff from here. So as long as you keep your C drive pretty clean, which my girlfriend has not been saving it to the right one, so I'm gonna move some files from here over to another SSD, like main games, and then I'm gonna start putting all the uh, Steam games and whatnot onto this hard drive. But that's it in a nutshell. It's not very complicated. It would take you probably about uh, maybe 30 minutes tops, 10 minutes if your PC is much cleaner than mine in the back.